In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, as we enter in the presence of the Lord, as we begin this new day, let us take a few moments to thank the Lord for all that He has done for us. We see that right from the time of our birth till now, there have been many instances or events where the Lord has worked wonders in our lives. He has guided us, He has protected us, He has shown us the way, helped us to overcome challenges and difficulties. And in this way, we can identify Him guiding us all through our lives. But there are occasions wherein we find it difficult to recognize His presence among us. We find it difficult to identify the blessings and the graces. And here we see that it is in these occasions that we need to especially ask the Lord to give us the grace that we may be able to identify those graces, those blessings in our lives. And therefore we see that the first thing to do is to be grateful to the Lord for all that He has done. And therefore, as we begin today's morning prayer, let us begin on this note of gratitude. Let us ask the Lord to help us identify His presence in our lives. And therefore, let us begin by thanking the Lord for all the things that He has done for us. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for giving us talents, opportunities and various gifts that enable us to become better persons and also that enable us to reach out to others and make a difference in the lives of others. Lord, we also want to thank you for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who play a very important role in our lives. We see that it is these people who have been instrumental in making us who we are. They are the ones who have devoted their time, energy and effort. And as a result of it, they have molded us and they have made us better individuals. So today, Lord, in a very special way, we ask you to bless all their endeavors and give them all the graces that they may require in life. We also thank you, Lord, for giving us the gift of this day, a day that would help us in many ways to appreciate the good things that you have done for us, a day wherein we may complete some thing that was left behind or a day that may present to us various challenges. Whatever be the situation, Lord, we ask you to be with us and guide us. Allow us to be led by you. Lord, we also thank you for the opportunities, for the experiences that you have given us in life. There have been many experiences wherein we have enjoyed and these are the experiences that we want to cherish in life. But this, at the same time, there have also been those experiences and those moments wherein we have found it difficult to accept them. These are the experiences that have been learning experiences. They have taught us a lot in life. Though they may have been hard, bitter, but still they have given us a valuable lesson. They have made us stronger. And therefore, Lord, we also thank you for those moments which have helped us to become strong, which have helped us to become better individuals. And Lord, we also thank you for giving us opportunities to reach out to others, to make use of our talents. And thus, Lord, we ask you to be with us, guide us throughout this day. Lord, allow us to be led by you so that whatever we do, our actions, our words, 
may reflect your love, joy and mercy to the world around us. Help us to become your instruments so that you may work in and through us. And therefore now, my dear friends, let us all close our eyes at this moment and let us praise the Lord that he has woken us up in this morning. We thank him for the good health that he has given us, for the good night's rest. We thank him for keeping us safe and sound, for protecting us from all danger, from all harm. He has kept us in his love. And at every moment we see that his gaze is upon us. He never abandons us. He is always there, guiding us, protecting us, showing us the right path. He loves us. And for all this, let us praise him. Let us thank him and let us glorify him. Lord, as we offer you this day, we ask you that you be with us. Help us to make the right decisions. Help us to do the right things so that we too may become worthy instruments, that we may be worthy workers in your vineyard. And therefore, my dear friends, let this day be a day of joy and blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We shall now reflect and meditate on Psalm 64. As usual, we shall have a general overview of the psalm and then we shall take a look at the psalm in detail. And therefore, when we look at Psalm 64, we see that it is a psalm of David that addresses the theme of protection from enemies and assurance of God's justice. And therefore, we see that the psalm can be divided into three main sections. Now, the first section is basically a plea for God's intervention against wicked enemies. And this is something that we'll find in verses 1 to 6. The second section of the psalm, verses 7 to 9, will speak of declaration of God's judgment and the righteous rejoicing in his works. Therefore, the final section, verse 10, is a final affirmation of trust in God's care. And therefore, let's take a look at each of these verses in detail. Now, verses 1 to 6 go like this. Hear my voice, O God, in my meditation. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion and the workers of iniquity, who sharpen their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Bitter words that they may shoot in secret as the blameless. Suddenly they shoot at him and do not fear. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. They talk of laying snares secretly. And here we see that David begins by addressing God, expressing his plea for protection and deliverance from his enemies. Here we see that David seeks refuge from the wicked individuals who in a way try to engage in secret plots, do things secretly, use their words as weapon to destroy others, to make havoc of their life. And we see that this is specially done against the innocent, against the blameless. And in today's world also we have so many instances wherein the innocent are being targeted wherein the cruel, wicked people use various ways in order to take advantage of the innocent and the blameless. And therefore, David here describes the deceptive strategies that his enemies use and also the wicked people and also the confidence that these people have in their own plans. They are sure whatever they do will work. And therefore, we see that David is suggesting to us that all these cruel, wicked people who have such wicked plans, these things stem from their heart. It is something that they conceive in their heart itself. Now verses 7 to 9 go like this. 
but god shall shoot at them with an arrow suddenly they shall be wounded so he will make them stumble over their own tongue all who see them shall flee away all men shall fear and declare the work of god for they shall wisely consider his doing now in this section david declares god's judgment upon the wicked he expresses confidence in god's intervention and thus he states that god will shoot arrows at them and cause them to stumble in other words god will take appropriate action he will humble the proud he will bring justice to all those who face injustice and in this way all the wicked all those who do evil will be humbled they will be brought down and therefore david envisions a scenario where the sight of god's judgment will invoke fear and will cause the people to recognize and proclaim the works of god and therefore the deeds of the wicked though they are done in secret all of that will be exposed it will be brought to light it will be out there in the open and their plans will come to nothing and the fall their plans will be destroyed so therefore david emphasizes the need to place faith and trust in the lord and finally in verse 10 we have the conclusion of the psalm and therefore the verse goes like this the righteous shall be glad in the lord and trust in him all the upright in the heart shall glory once again a consolation for all those who have been facing difficulties in their lives all those who have been victims of injustice and therefore the psalm concludes with an affirmation of trust and rejoicing among the righteous finally justice will be served the wicked will be punished and therefore here we see that david declares that the righteous will find gladness in the lord and they will place their trust in god the upright in heart will boast in the lord and they will celebrate his faithfulness and justice and therefore overall we see that psalm 64 presents a plea for god's intervention against the wicked enemies and it expresses confidence in his judgment it also highlights the deceptive tactics of the wicked and their plans to harm the blameless and therefore the psalm assures the righteous people that god will protect them and all that they need to do is place their faith and trust in the lord it emphasizes the ultimate triumph of the righteousness and the recognition of god's works among his people and therefore the psalm will serve as a reminder that god sees and judges the actions of the wicked and he provides security and justice for all those who do the will of god therefore my dear friend let us now spend a few moments reflecting on this psalm there may have been many things that would have touched us could be a verse could be a sentence could be a thought or a word remain with it allow it to take root in you in this way we see that the psalm will really be meaningful to us and will be ultimately be able to draw fruit from it and therefore as we spend these few moments in silence allow the word allow the thought to take root in you let it become part of you so that ultimately all your works actions today will be able to radiate the love peace and mercy of god that you too will be able to praise the lord in all your works in all your dealings with others and thus you will be a worthy instrument to work in the vineyard of the lord
O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of February. For the terminally ill, we pray that those with a terminal illness and their families receive the necessary physical and spiritual care and accompaniment. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. 
we ask this through Jesus Christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation Christ with me Christ before me Christ behind me Christ in me Christ beneath me Christ above me Christ on my right Christ on my left Christ when I lie down Christ when I sit down Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me Christ in the eye that sees me Christ in the ear that hears me Amen The Angelus the angel of the Lord declared to Mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray Pour forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through jesus christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers O Saint Joseph I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him 
to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors, and one more person to love, and by whom be loved, for your grace and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, to be our God, and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us mother of mercy pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother of hope pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us ta of david pray for us ta of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us 
Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech Thee, O Lord God, that we, Your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer Thee the most precious blood of Thy Divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the Universal Church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God Rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.